Hello, it's Sarah, and today I have my very first junk journal to share. And I did this because Irene, Crafty Irina on YouTube, had left me a comment on, when I was sharing my little mini albums that I made, um, saying that she would like to see how I would do a um, junk journal. Um, oh. And so I took the challenge. I've, I've seen lots of videos um, on junk journals before, and I never really quite understood what their purpose was. So I did a little research, and I think there's kind of, people are taking, taking it and doing what they want with it now. There's junk journaling, there's art journals, there's journal journals. So mine, I decided to, after watching a few different videos, this is just a journal like that I'm going to write in. But the paper that I'm using inside of it is kind of for writing on. And it's different types of papers. I used, um, I was inspired by this paper stack. It's called Fabulous Girl. And it had these kind of journal looking pages and um, big cut apart journaling spots that I thought I could throw in here. And this is my, like, my first one. So I wanted to feel it out and see what I liked about it and what I wanted to have in a junk journal. And I got, I one of the, I have to say, mentioned that Kara, who is um, AK Caribou, did like a four part series on how she gathers up her supplies for junk journaling. And it was very helpful because it kind of um, helped me understand the, the process. You know, I'm big on the process. I, I like to know where I'm going with something. So basically, I just made this. Uh, like I said, I was very inspired by the paper line, and then I got a few things at the Dollar Tree, which I wouldn't recommend. This is really cheesy paper. Actually, I think this was from Staples, this graph paper. It's kind of really thin. Um, what else did I get? I got this. Um, there's lined paper in here that's kind of like from a notebook from the Dollar Tree, and I would just recommend using like your... Um, the standard lined paper, like the refill papers that you would use. This is um, just cardstock that I got a long time ago with lines on it that had kind of swirly things that I liked. Um, I liked this, putting the um, doily on the paper. I love that. I did that a couple, oh, I did it on the cover too, but I did it to a couple pieces. Um, and then I did do some stamping, and I did, I had some rub-ons that I've had forever, so I just used those. Um, see here, this was a heart doily, so I put that on there. Um, another cut apart, I did some stamping, if you want to be happy, B. Um, so yeah, I think stamping is a great idea to, like, put inspirational things in here. And just any stamps that you love, like this was just a cute little butterfly stamp that I had, and I kept it tonal, I used brown. But, uh, oh, also, using these, um, your edge punches is a great thing to do with, um, junk journaling. And it, it, it kind of just personalizes it and makes it cute and, like, you know, like something you would want to write in. Um, this is, uh, Delight, Lovely, Fabulous Definitions. So, I, I put a few bags in here. Actually, I think Irene gave me these to alter. Um, I know she gave me the um, craft colored ones, these. Um, so I just kind of played with it. It was interesting doing the binding because the way you stagger the paper, um, it makes for interesting uh, hole punching and stuff. So that was tricky. But I mean, all in all, I, I did enjoy it. See, I, I made one paper bag pocket that I just put, I cut down a couple of tags. So I figure I'm just going to, I can write on the tags and then put them in there. What else? Um, I would recommend, too, adding, like, I should have put more pages together. Like, at least ten pages at a place. Because, I don't know, I think the way the book turned out, because everything is bound. Alright, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is thick here, but it goes down to thin because the papers are all different lengths and stuff. I think that if I would have added um, a few, like, 
regular size pages here and throughout the book it would have made it more um you know even that way but I could take this binding off and like add more pages to this section like and have sections of of pages that you can write on um so all in all I I did enjoy it I liked it um I love how my cover turned out this is like I said just paper from this fabulous girl stack it's a recollection stack and I just used a I used chipboard covers, but um, putting the doily on it was so cool. I, I don't know why. I've had these doilies forever in my stash, and um, they're a nice quality. They're from the dollar store, uh, and I just, like, used my glue stick and got that on there. And then these flowers were from the Michaels um, $1.50 bin, but they really reminded me of these flowers from the paper line. So it just kind of came together, and... Um, so that's it. I mean, I think I need to collect more junk. I saw there were some cool, like I really wanted ledger paper, which I don't know where you find it. I guess you'd have to, I don't know, like this ledger paper, like um, book bookkeeping paper. Um, one of the cool things Kara had was actually library cards. That was cool, like because they're more substantial. I did buy, um, what are they called? The... Uh, these things. I didn't use any in here. Index cards, just like regular index cards. Um, I think that could be a cool thing to stagger those high and low to kind of give it some, um, you know, different dimension. So um, I need to collect some junk, some, you know, more types of uh, papers that I want to put in here. But I, I am going to, I would keep it more toward a writing journal. That's my take on it. Um, and just using recycled paper. I think that was kind of how it started out too. I love the bag idea because you can add little things, ephemera things if you wanted to, memories, um, you know, um, playbills maybe or something, but I don't think that's what this is. I think that's more of a smash book, you know, so, um, I don't know. I think it's to each his own now. I think you can do pretty much whatever you want to do. Um, this is kind of a big one, too, and I kind of just did that based on the size of this paper that was from the um, paper stack. So that's kind of how I came up with it. It's, it's actually, it's like eight, eight and a quarter by six. So nice size. And uh, so that's it. Thank you, Irene, for suggesting that. It just kind of took me away from my little minis for a while because I'm doing those for my craft show coming up. And um, so that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching.